So I thought I might just uh, create a quick video to um, demonstrate um, how to put together a simple circuit in real life. My previous videos have involved virtual circuits, uh, so I thought it might be interesting to do sort of an alternative view on that. Um, uh, to compare what it looks like in real life versus what it looks like in the virtual circuits, in the virtual demonstration. So there are a few things in front of me. Most of it is just wire. So we've got the red wire, we've got a black wire, we've got this USB cable, which I've clipped the end from, and uh, I'll explain why in a minute. We have a resistor here. This is what a resistor actually looks like. So that's what resistors look like in real life. They come in different sizes, shapes, and of course, different resistances. Um, this one here is a 150 ohm resistor. You can buy resistors uh, for very cheap. I have um, quite a lot of resistors here. I have, I, this is just some of them. I have thousands and thousands of different resistors and uh, they cost barely anything. And you can find them on eBay and other places on the internet uh, for very cheap. It will help you if you've watched my previous videos where we went through Ohm's Law and all the rest of it. Um, the idea behind those videos is that they prepare you for the upcoming videos that I will be making and so that you can better understand and follow what I'm doing. The last component is uh, this. And if you haven't guessed already, uh, this is uh, a five millimeter LED. So this is what uh, this type of LED looks like. You uh, are probably used to, if you've been watching my videos, you're probably used to seeing the a symbol for an LED, which is a diode symbol with arrows from, coming from it. Um, this is what a five millimeter LED looks like. And this one in particular is a green LED. It will emit green light. You can also buy LEDs very cheap from eBay and other websites. This was originally a bag of 100 LEDs, which was around one to two pounds or the equivalent of um, probably two to three dollars. So we'll go back to the LED in a minute and the resistor as well. The one thing that I want to talk about is the color codes of wires. Why is this wire red and why is this one black? So color codes are used to help you identify connections in a circuit. And most commonly for positive and negative connections, you will have uh, red and black wires. The red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Sometimes you will also get a white wire for negative as well. Um, but usually the red wire is positive and black wire is negative. So when you're making your own circuits, it's always good practice to, to connect the wires um, to keep the color code how they should be. So uh, connect the red wire to the positive side of a device or component and the black wire to the negative side. And uh, it just allows you to easier identify polarity um, and connections in a circuit. When you power something uh, from USB, you're usually powering it from five volts, um, whether it be a, a USB port from your laptop or the plug-in USB adapters where you charge your phone or any other device. Um, they usually give out five volts. I know that I'm gonna be dealing with a five volt uh, USB power supply. My LED, for simplicity's sake, is three volts. So we could use that. Uh, we could use Ohm's law to calculate the current that will go through this LED uh, once we've powered it up uh, with this resistor. So we've got 150 ohm resistor, and to calculate current, um, it's voltage divided by resistance. We know that this LED is going to be using three volts, so we've basically got got to get rid of two volts. Okay, and the resistance here is 150 ohms. So basically what we do is we go two divided by 150 and that two divided by 150 uh, equals approximately 13 milliamps. So we'll get 13 milliamps through this LED, which is enough to make it light uh, quite brightly, uh, not its maximum brightness, but certainly uh, quite brightly. Now today, uh, I'm just going to be using my soldering iron, uh, which I have here, digitally uh, temperature controlled soldering iron. Um, but uh, you could also, if you don't have a soldering iron, uh, or at least if you don't know how to use a soldering iron, this will be covered in an upcoming video. 
Um, but if if not, you could either twist the wires together, or you can use a breadboard if you have one. Um, if you don't have one, uh, we will be covering breadboards uh, in another video as well in the future. But I prefer soldering, so um, that's what we're going to do today. And uh, we're going to make a little LED light, a very simplistic and straightforward LED light. Okay, so we're going to begin soldering. So I've got my soldering iron and solder, and I'm going to tin these wires. Uh, tinning the wires means I'm just uh, applying a coating of solder to prepare the connection, uh, to prepare the contacts for a, uh, a good solder connection. Okay, so I've already actually pre-tinned most of these wires. So I'm going to use my soldering iron to join the red wire to the red wire. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with the black wire as well. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is just slide some um, some of this heat shrink over the top of um, one of the sides of connections. It's always good to isolate um, isolate exposed connections uh, to make sure that uh, they don't short out, um, because obviously if 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 the black side here, if this connection here touches this connection they will actually short together and um, cause issues in the circuit. So I'll just slip that over there. I won't bother shrinking it down. And the, the next step here is actually to join my resistor to the black wire and then to the LED. So I've already tinned the um, leads of the uh, resistor here. So I'm just going to apply the solder, soldering iron to it and let that set and then while the resistor is in there I'm going to apply the resistor to the negative side of the LED uh, just to um, explain the, the polarity of the LED can be, um, can be identified um, by looking at the legs um, for one uh, the shorter leg is usually the negative side of the LED and the longer one is the positive. Um, also you'll see the LED has a flat side on the negative side. So if you just feel the LED, um, the flat side here at the bottom, that's negative. Uh, and then the other way of telling is uh, these halves inside the LED, if it's transparent, the thinner part of the LED is usually the positive side and inside there you can see this is a thicker part inside that's usually the negative side uh, so I'm gonna join the negative lead of the LED here to the other end of the resistor okay and the only thing that's left now is to join the positive wire coming from the USB cable to the positive side of the LED. Now this isn't tidy or professional in any way at all. Um, I'm just trying to um, not take forever. Uh, but there we go, that's our LED now soldered together. So we've got our um, USB cable here. Uh, we've got the negative lead coming from here, going to a resistor of 150 ohms, uh, one I picked at random. Um, and then it's going to the negative lead of the LED. The positive lead of the LED is then connected to the positive cable, um, which comes back to the USB power supply. So, if I now go ahead and um, plug this cable in, there we go, we can see that the, uh, the LED has lit, and uh, quite brightly as well, it has lit, and it's, uh, it's very green, so there we go.
that's uh, that's our very simple circuit um, put together there.